Good morning everybody, how are you all doing? Hopefully you can see me. Uh, it's Tuesday and it's persistently raining and it's doing me head in. Just ignore that clicking if you can hear it. It's uh, the windows, there's a sensor somewhere I need to change. Uh, I'm away down to Georgia's and I uh, just remembered I forgot screwdrivers and everything. <laughs> right. Got to go around the block. It helps if when you're going somewhere you, you take what it is that you you need to be taken. You know? There's a few little jobs she wants doing, but I'm gonna teach her how to do them as well. I'm not just gonna do them. And there's a couple of screws need uh, replacing then a light bulb needs uh, well there's a lamp not working but she hasn't even tried a light bulb or tr a fuse or anything yet so uh, a couple of other things need doing but I haven't got access to my shed at the moment because it's too full so I need to wait until I can get in there and like I say it's pouring with rain so I don't want to be dragging stuff out the shed when it's raining uh, yeah, but I'm sort of running on probably a few ten minutes sleep during the night. It's not been the best of nights. I did have a late night watching TV, but then I couldn't get sleep for Denise snoring. Then my restless leg kicked in. Right, let's try that again. <clears throat> Got everything this time got my screwdrivers and fuses and stuff like that. Let's see if I can get everything done now. Uh, so what's been happening? Uh, not a great deal to be honest. <laughs> not a great deal. Obviously I watched the Newcastle match the other day, the cup final, and we got beat. Disappointing. Especially, well, I was sort of half expecting to get beat anyway, the way we've been playing lately. But the way we played that match, we had the majority of the game, so I thought, you know, we did have a chance. But the only two, pretty much the only two goals on goal they had, they scored. You know, they did have a couple of long range shots, but like, the only two sort of real chances they had, they scored. So, but. We didn't, so they won. So we got we got to Wembley though. Got to look at the positives. Got to Wembley. It's more than we were expecting on our first full year since the new takeover. So got to be happy that way. Uh, what else? What else? Not much else really been happening. Um, I'm just struggling for sleep lately. It's. Uh, really bad but we'll get there we'll get there um, the 28th today so I've got to go to hospital on the 6th to collect me CPAP machine which I was supposed to collect sometime in February but obviously I got COVID at the time so I couldn't go uh, yeah so get that and Hopefully that'll help me, but <laughs> still other things that need to be sorted, like somebody else snoring. Yeah. Um, I'm sure there's something else. Well, we'll be watching on TV. Oh, we'll be watching The Last of Us. It's one, I think one season, I think it was. If you haven't seen that, and you like something a bit sci-fi-ish, a bit sci-fi-ish, it's not too much, check it out, it is really good. Um, we've got to the end of the, got to the end of the season, and yeah, can't wait for the next one. I hope it's not one of these at the scrap. You know, when, I, you tend to find the good ones, the scrap, and the, you know, the, most of the good ones are scrap. Uh, 
uh, rubbish ones that, that go on and on. Uh, so yeah, if you get a chance to watch that, that's a bit, it's a bit like, um, I wouldn't say Walking Dead, if you watch a Walking Dead, there's sort of like a, I'll not give too much away, I'll try not to give any spoilers, but it's like a virus hits the planet, and was coming at some speed yeah there's a virus hits the planet and you know the people get infected in those quarantine zones and things like that it's it, it is really good even Denise liked it uh, what else are we watching well I'll be watching Star Trek Discovery I've caught up on that eventually so just waiting for season five to come out whenever that is uh, that's, that's been quite good you is another one we've been watching. We didn't realise there was a new season coming out. They've got advertising. We're caught up with that, so I don't know if there's any more episodes. I think there should be some more episodes. So we're sort of caught up with that. That's really good if you haven't watched that. If you like sort of psychological dramas kind of thing, kind of thing, it's good. Whereas the main character sort of narrates it all the way through. You can hear what he's thinking and things like that. Um, that is definitely worth watching. If you like a sort of murder, suspense kind of thing, that's really good. If you watch Dexter, and you like Dexter, uh, which I did after season four. First few seasons were a bit slow, but after season four it was really good. If you like Dexter, you'll, you'll like you. Uh, what else? Oh, shit, something else. What was it? Yeah, I can't remember. The other thing, there was something else we were watching, but it, it was really good. We were watching loads of different things at the moment, just catching up on them. Uh, anyway, I'm going to get going for the moment. Oh, I can see that bin there. Uh, going to get going for the moment. and. Catch you a little bit later on. Uh, well, I've done my jobs. Say hello. I'm She's going to kill us later. Go, oh, you're going to do this. Covered in paint. Don't go in. So, got the mirror up, fixed the light. And yes, the light was just a light bulb. But I've shown a hot change of fuse as well. Um, George is doing some painting. Some very rubbish painting. Some very rubbish painting. Uh, rang the gas board because uh, they've been out and done a repair lately. And since then, when you put the boiler on, it makes this loud, it's like really low rumbling. And you can actually feel the vibration on the box and through the floor and everything. And, uh, so the neighbor's going to be able to hear it downstairs. So. Um, rang them up said no you need to come back out there's something not right with this boiler so it wasn't like that when you before you've done it before you've done your repair so I'm gonna be back tomorrow uh, but yeah I've just nipped across the B&M uh, looking, looking for a door latch but they didn't have one so I got some chocolate and some monster I found a new flavor monster I've not tried so Try that when I when I get home. Uh, well, I'm on my way home now. Can't see a thing out that mirror because of the rain. Uh, I'm on my way home now. Done everything, with Georgia. Had a cup of tea with her and put the world to rights. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go home. Get the dishes done. Then. Maybe he's going to have a couple of hours sleep. I really need it. I don't know how I'm still going. <laughs> uh, my eyes definitely feel like proverbial pee holes in the snow. You know? uh, yeah, I shall 
catch it all a little bit later on. Good, yeah, good morning. How are you doing? Oh, it's Wednesday now. Haven't long been out of bed. So cozy there, but I've got to get up, uh, go down to Georgia's, ready for the gas engineer coming. Hopefully you can fix whatever it is that is wrong. Hopefully it's a nice simple fix. Uh, might be just something needs bleeding, you know, like might be an airlock or something. Ah, I really did not want to get out of bed. <laughs> uh, needs must, you know. Um, I've had somebody coming over tomorrow. Uh, his friends coming over tomorrow, so may possibly depend on what happens. May possibly be going out. Out. Um, if we do, it'll be a nice surprise, something different that I've not shown you before. I've never been there, so in fact he's never been there, but we'll see what it's like. The way the last few days has gone, I might not bother going, I don't know, uh, with the rain. We'll see what happens. Uh, so yeah, I need to get up for tomorrow as well. <clears throat> anyway, so yeah, as I was saying, so I've had to get up today, so I need to get back to a proper sleeping pattern. Uh, it's the 1st of March today, so not long till I pick up my CPAP machine. Hopefully that will help. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to think if there's any news. Uh, Georgia's at work, hence why I'm having to go down here. No, nothing really happened. I don't think what we watched on TV last night. Ah, we didn't really, we just watched YouTube videos. Denise fell asleep early because she was shattered from work. It was the, the bad night she had before. Oh, she had, I was saying, um, she had absolutely horrendous heartburn. Uh, nothing was touching it. Uh, took antacids, didn't work. Drank milk, didn't seem to work. So she was up and down all night. Uh, yeah, so hopefully, hopefully she had a better night last night. She seemed to. People are starting to get used to that junction now. They're quite new traffic lights I've gone through, and loads of people just go steaming through them. So you've got to be careful when you go through. Uh, so now that I think it's deliberate because they've been on, like the other direction's been on red for long enough. And you're halfway through and a car just goes whizzing across in front of you. So, and every time it's happened, it's always been a, a big BMW or an Audi or something like that. Make of that what you will. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to turn these wheels off. Yeah. Just about at Georgia, so I'll get going for the moment. Uh, stay where you are, Mr. Car. Yeah, so I'll, I'll get going for the moment. Good afternoon. No, even. Good morning. I'm not used to being up in the afternoon. I nearly forgot. Good morning. How are you all doing? It's Thursday. Uh, and I'm up early. I've been up since 8 o'clock, which is really good for me. Although I've only had about three hours sleep, I'm knackered. <laughs> but there you go. Uh, got my friend coming around in, well, be, he's doing about five minutes. Uh, we're going to go out because he wants to make sure that I'm getting out of the house, which is nice of him. So we're going to go somewhere different today. I'm not mentioning what it is just yet. But yeah, we're gonna get out. It's about, I think about 45 minutes an hour drive from here. Um, it'll be good, especially if the weather holds off. It's cloudy, it has been raining. I'm just hoping the rain holds off while we're down there. 
Uh, yeah. Just wish it stopped raining. There's things I want to do in the garden. Get tidied up and everything, but I can't because it's soaking. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so that's it. I'm just waiting for him to come. Then we'll uh, then we'll get going and let you know where we where we are when we get there. Out of the house and this is where we've come to this is locomotion the our local rail museum a bit like York rail museum but smaller the never been here before so I'm looking forward to coming Nice drive to get here as well, so...
So this is on the outside of the Locomotion Museum. This is a bit further up and they're busy working on it. So the coal drops, the old coal drops. If you see the steam train, and the arches there, then there was a gap. If you notice that bit of wood there. Right, there was a gap and the train would dump coal down here. Uh, you note all the tracks there as well. So, that is exactly the same gap there. there. So that's where, if you can still see the slope there, that's where the wood was. That come down here, the steam train was here. And this is what it was, all the, the tracks. down there and it just stops there's a there's another gate there level crossing gate and if you notice in the background that building that's obviously some kind of former shed or something which is being transformed into something where they house a, a garbage or something yeah there's an old fuel truck there yeah. Yeah, nice signal box that's still in use that signal box I've seen somebody walking about inside it before these were built in the 19th century as a, as a coal, coaling stage for the Stockton and Darlington Railway and the ceased operation in 1935. Anybody spot what's wrong with that? Leave your comments below. Uh, this is Sheldon Station. Just on the other side of those arches that I showed you before. This is where you got the train to um, Saltburn, I think it is, and Middlesbrough. And the other way goes to Bishop Auckland. Up that way, from Bishop Auckland. And those arches are literally just I well, can just make out the top of them there, but you can't get to them, and they're all fenced off. So that's the signal box I was mentioning before in the distance. Does appear to be occupied. There's somebody in there, lights on in there. I uh, did see somebody moving about earlier. Uh, don't know what time the train's coming. There was one a while back, but not seen one this direction, I don't think. Try and keep this straight. <laughs> uh, well, we're on our way back to my house now. I don't know if a little bit peckish. I don't know if we're nipping in for a McDonald's or something on the way. Home. Yes, I'm getting the nod of approval. Yes, I think we're getting a McDonald's on the way home. <laughs> yum yum. I'm a bit peckish. What we had there was a cup of tea and uh, half a half a scone each. So we're going to get something more filling. Well, we can call McDonald's more filling that is for five minutes.
typical as soon as I start to press the record button, the microwave beeps. Uh, well, home obviously. Um, it's now quarter to eight and my eyes look shocking. I am so ready to go to sleep. Um, been a lovely day out with my friend um, Paul uh, at the museum. It's just nice to get out of the house and get some fresh air and it was so peaceful there where the place was. Uh, gonna see about next week. We've got a couple of things to research for next week. Got a couple of things to research. It's the cat. A couple of things to research for next week and see where we're going. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have my tea, chicken legs, and mashed potato, and maybe rice. I don't know. Have that, then go to bed. And the way I feel at the moment, I'll probably fall asleep straight away. So I get going. Um, so the the vlog's a bit of a mismatch of a few days I just kept forgetting to end it uh, but yeah take care everybody I'll catch up with you all very soon uh, don't forget I hate saying this it sounds so cheesy but don't forget to, if you're not already subscribed click the subscribe button and like the video great help to the channel and don't forget to share it uh, thank you very much everybody Take care of yourselves and catch you in the next one.